St. Mary's women's basketball team has started the 2018 regular season with an impressive 8-1 record, and that includes an upset victory over top-ranked Central Missouri two weekends ago. Now, with the big win under their belt and a two-week break to help rest and refocus, the Rattlers look to be primed to accomplish even more. KSAT 12's Andrew Seeley has more. Before the 2018 season began, the St. Mary's women's basketball team believed they could compete with the nation's best. On November 23rd, that belief became a reality. <laughs> Playing in their first home game of the season at the St. Mary's Thanksgiving Classic, the Rattlers erased a double-digit second-half deficit to stun the defending national champion Central Missouri 101-97 in double overtime. It was the biggest upset in program history. It's just a great game playing the number one team in the nation and be able to beat them to uh, open up the home season was just great. Uh, I'm so proud of our girls. They played with tremendous poise, tremendous energy, and to get that victory was a true testament to how tough these girls are. Everyone did their, their role, and I think that is a makeup for a great team. And when you do that, when everyone kind of is cohesive and works together, you make great things happen. After such an emotional victory, St. Mary's didn't suffer a letdown in their next game the following day, using an early surge to cruise past Kutztown 55 to 45. Now, nine games into the season, the Rattlers find themselves with an 8 and 1 overall record, a stark contrast from their 2 and 6 record to start last season. You know, last year we were really banged up and so we we started off really bad and then really started playing our best basketball, you know, at the end of the season. Um, and then this year it's just carried over. Uh, we played a lot of freshmen last year and now they're those freshmen are sophomores and have had a lot of experience, so they've just carried that experience over and it's really helped us out this year. The young guns have certainly provided a spark offensively. Sophomore Soteria Banks and Hannah Wilson are both averaging double-digit points per game. Seniors Caitlin Walla and Aresia Porter lead the team with 17.5 and 14.7 points per game respectively. This mix of youth and senior leadership has the Rattlers believing they've only scratched the surface of their talents. There's so much potential that we have. There's so many different puzzle pieces, so many strengths, and all we got to do is find it together. Like if we're doing good now, like just imagine if we get, like if we find the, the full puzzle, you know, and we fit the pieces together. Every game we've progressively gotten better. Coach has always said, you know, we don't want to be playing our best basketball here at the beginning of the season. We want to play it in March. So I, I love how this team is consistently progressing. After a two-week break, the Rattlers return to action ready to make their mark. They've shown they can compete with the nation's best. Now their sights are set on an even bigger goal. Honestly, I feel like we can win the national. I, I feel like we can go far. First, of course, we got to win the conference, but I really feel like we could just go far. I want to be at playing in the last game and winning the last game of the season. We just proved ourselves, proved that we can beat a national champion, so why not be one? Reporting for KSAT 12 Sports, I'm Andrew Seeley.